Welcome back, everybody. Dr. Ellie Levine, uh, as I said, is the Director of Plastic Surgery and Dermatology of New York City, one of the most well-known uh, plastic surgeons here in New York. And, Doc, welcome to the program. Um, as I said, I like to be in the sun. It's hot in New York. It was 90 degrees. Memorial Day was just beautiful here. So I know that you keep telling me when you see me in the street wearing my Speedos, Manny, take care of your skin. What should I do? Well, the first thing you have to worry about is sun protection. Uh, wearing a broad spectrum sunscreen with an SPF 30 or higher is a must. Reapplying it every two hours or so when you're, in the outs when you're outside. And uh, you really need to read the ingredients on the sun protection because SPF protects you against UVB radiation, but UVA radiation in some ways is more damaging. It's the one that's going to cause wrinkling and sun damage and brown so what spots. Did, what did, cause to, see, to, see, to me, is wh why did you just make one cream? Tell me the FPF that you want me to wear. Make sure that it contains the ingredients that I should get. But, you know, because I hear this all the time. Check the label. Make sure that it's this. Make sure that it has UV thing. It's very confusing. It is very confusing. Just I make can, one cream. So th that's true. That's, that's complicated. There are a lot of companies out there that make these products. But some simple things to remember. Look for a product with an SPF 30 or higher. And look for something on the back that has a physical blocker like titanium oxide. Uh, uh, or, or uh, titanium dioxide or zinc oxide. If you look for those two things, that's going to be the simplest way to do it. Um, th it's very complicated. There are a lot of chemical blockers like avobenzone and other products. But, but really, if you stick to the zinc oxide or titanium dioxide and SPF 30 or higher and reapply it, uh, you're going to do well. Is there such a thing, and I don't know if this is true or not, is, 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 is there such a thing where you can sort of begin to implement in your, let's say, in your early 20s, through your early 30s, a regimen of daily skin health prevention so that you can argue the point that you're going to slow the aging process and you may prevent even plastic surgery or any kind of skin uh, damage as you get into your 40s and 50s. Absolutely. Every patient that comes into our practice, whether it's male or female, will basically get set up with three different types of products. They need a daily moisturizer that has a broad spectrum sunscreen in it. They're put on some sort of topical antioxidant regimen, and they're also started on retinols, all three of which in combination really help prevent both the stigma of, of, of aging and also with the skin cancer risk. Well, Anti-aging, let's talk about that. So anti-aging, the, 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 the topical regimen we spoke about is very important, but almost as fundamental to that is what you put into your system. So uh, drinking lots of water is great. Hydration is not just for your in internal organs, but it's also for your skin. And then a diet that consists of high in vitamins, high in antioxidants, and high in essential fatty acids, like the omega-3s are great. So vitamins, great example of it is, is low-fat dairy products have are rich in vitamin A products and similarly the retinols that are vitamin A derivatives are great for your skin. Similarly antioxidants are great in, 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 in eliminating uh, the free radical damage and that includes products like berries, strawberries and blueberries. So are th great. Those are some of the products you have, I don't know if your camera get, can get those but so you, you have uh, Stra berries, strawberries. And, and blueberries are great. Blueberries. And then a product like the green tea is also a great antioxidant. So you like the green tea. and okay. orally. And then, uh, and then you look at products like uh, salmon, uh, avocado, and uh, nuts, like walnuts, are great in the omega-3s, which is also great for moisturizing your skin. 